we decided spontaneously to do a day trip to Suwon and Suwon is a city south of Seoul that I've been wanting to go to since the last time I came here. My cousin has a friend that lives here and said it's a really beautiful place to live and I'm just curious about it for the future because you just never know. We might end up in Suwon someday. So we are heading to lunch and I'm gonna show you all the places that we go. There's lots of cute cafes. There's beautiful cultural sites to see and it's so far, We've only been here for like 30 minutes and it's a beautiful city. Can you imagine living here? I would love to live right across from a restaurant. <laughs> My mom's Korean is coming back, so my mom can understand Korean. My harmony spoke mostly Korean to her growing up, so she understands it pretty well. But I can read badly, but I can read a little bit. So I would read certain signs or things and, be, and then ask her, what does that mean? So she can't read, but I can read. So that's how we've been getting around. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> This style house is very similar to what I used to uh, live in, except with looking over the Hangang River. How long did you live there? About a year and a half, almost two years. And I remember actually my uncle taking me to the Hangang River when it was frozen and to go ice skating. And then when I got home, I got in big trouble because my mom was afraid I was going to fall in. Oh. <laughs> That's a steep climb.
going to write some letters to our future self and then they will mail it to us at a future date. This is an almond cream latte. show Andrew Namskin. spontaneously decided to go visit an apartment in Suwon. Just kind of curious what the cost of living is for an apartment, what it looks like, what part of town, and so we checked it out. And you can either do Jeonse or Wolse, and Jeonse is where you put down like a huge lump sum of cash that you end up getting back when you move out, and then you don't pay rent. For the particular apartment we looked at, you'd have to put down 500,000, but then you don't pay rent. But who has 500,000 in cash just sitting around? <laughs> and then there's Wulse, which is what I would do, where you put down less money, like 37,000, and then your rent is 1,500. But then you get the 37,000 back when you move out. So that feels more doable, but it's so different from how we do things in America. And I can see why it's so hard to get an apartment here because you have to have so much cash on hand. We are back in Hongdae, where our hotel is. We're tired. That was a fun day in Suwon. Do you like Suwon? Yes, it's beautiful. It was so fun. Tomorrow, we head to Jeju Island. So we have to catch an early flight. So I think that's it for today's vlog. Yay. <laughs> 